I don't think I've ever seen Professor Lumumba this angry. This video that I'm about to show you was taken from an interview that he gave to SABC News in South Africa. Let me show you the clip first. We'll come back and discuss. They'll never go to Bahrain. They'll never go to Brunei. They'll never go to Saudi Arabia. They'll never go to Indonesia to tell them. It is Africans who they think are tales to be wagged. So on this issue, the, the government of the Uganda and the people of Uganda, I am with them 100%. There is no freedom outside of the law. How do you balance the, balance. the decision or the right to choose? Choose what? The choice must be limited according to the mores of a different community. And in any event, should we be talking about LGBTQ when we have no food on the table? And the danger, including with you journalists, is that now when you interview people, you have your own position that you want to impose on us. We refuse. We know. Put in the United Nations Human Rights Council. But the United, no, but the United, United Nations Human Rights Council, is it some god? Is it not a body that is composed of human beings who have created a body where some are permanent members and some are not permanent members? Remember, in matters of morality, numbers don't matter. It is the mores. You may disagree with me, but I'm telling you without batting an eyelid and unapologetically that some of us oppose LGBTQ and you who are anchors. We are, I'm now telling you because I've seen it with other anchors from other parts of the world. You have a position and you want to impose on us. We refuse. Yours is to midwife to ensure that my views, if others have a different view, you go and interview them. But from where I sit, I oppose LGBTQ with every ounce in my life. Including that they must be killed. Uh, Who said they must be killed? Law no, law there law is law nobody law. who has said that, Memas. I want you to read the law. They have not said that. Well, he made it very clear where he stands in this issue. And also, um, the reason why they were also pushing back was because of the current bill that was passed by uh, Museveni, the Ugandan president. And they are saying that, you know, they're trying to unalive them. That, that was not the bill. We talked about it here on this channel. That's not the law that was passed. They have amended it. And even though that's the case, people still knowingly or unknowingly make it seem like like there's a death sentence for being um you know not straight basically so that's not true though and as you heard him like you reporters should be unbiased when you're interviewing and that's not what you're doing you're bringing your bias to this interview and that's not how it's supposed to be and he said that he supports Uganda in this and he will stand with them. What are your thoughts about what he said when it comes to the new law, when it comes to journalists, and also when it comes to his beliefs on LGBTQ? I am Ongil Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.